terms of key catalysts, X, everything else that's gone from Friday, what will drive us into this week and keep these gains on track? Carson, it's going to be an absolutely massive week and we know what th what's been driving the market are hopes of some action coming through from the European Central Bank. In particular, the market expecting to see bond buying in Italian and Spanish bonds. So that's really what's going to be in focus this week, given that we do see an ECB meeting on Thursday. The market's going to be keeping a very close eye on that press conference after uh, that decision comes out. Um, so the market watching that ECB decision, but not only that, we have the FOMC meeting on Wednesday. So expectations around quantitative easing expected to be very much in focus and that uh, statement by Ben Bernanke on Wednesday will be very closely watched by the markets and to top it all off this is the week that we get the non-farm payroll numbers for July in the US so in terms of international events some massive events on the calendar but the markets really going to be watching those central bank uh, press releases coming out after those decisions and that's really going to be the focus of course overnight markets or the weekend markets we saw markets being buoyed by hopes that we we would see the European Central Bank uh, bond buying in terms of Italian and Spanish yields to bring down some of those uh, borrowing costs for those two countries. And that saw the U.S. market up by a massive 1.9 percent. We saw the Dow Jones Industrial Average above 13,000. Base metals also rallied on the London's Metalist Exchange. Copper was up by 1.3 percent. In New York, it was up by 1.2 percent. So it does look like a good day for our miners. And it's by pointing to a gain of 1.3 percent. And that means on the Australian market today, we should see our market uh, trading at a two and a half month high. Let's talk beach energy, can we? Because uh, this is all now one of not necessarily just the numbers on the production front today, but as much as that, the guidance that's accompanied it. Well, what are you seeing in the numbers? We will get some numbers coming out from Beach Petroleum today, so we are expecting to see a quarterly report out. And I guess for Beach Petroleum, the second half is expected to be better than the first half, so we are expecting a good set of numbers to come through. So the first half, we did see a profit of $52 million, and we are expecting to see the second half much better than that. In the March quarter, if we have a look at the March quarter sales number, it was at $157 million, and production was just under 2 million barrels of oil equivalent. So we are expecting to see a number a little bit better than that, still be Beach's production mainly does come from its Cooper Basin assets in South Australia as well as its Aramanga uh, assets or the Aramanga Basin in Queensland. If we have a look at what Beach is doing though, there's some exciting things happening but smaller production-wise in Egypt with Egypt uh, production now online and its western flank outlook is looking pretty good as well. So altogether a pretty bullish report expected to come out by Beach Petroleum and the expectations are that the second half should be better than the first half so expecting to see a rise in those quarterly production numbers. Northern Iron, because the Swiss and the Indians going head to head, uh, mm. you can look at the conditions around the Swiss Prom Invest bid. Uh, is that likely to still prove uh, appealing, or how do you see the action now playing out? It's quite incredible because we're talking about M&A action in this space at a time when iron ore spot prices are about 117 US a ton. So if we have a look at this space, it is a smaller iron ore miner. We're looking at Northern Iron, NFE is a code, and it does look like a takeover battle has uh, broken out in this particular stock. We know that the Indian company, Adita uh, Binder, has been interested in this stock for a while. Back in May, they made an indicative offer between 123 to 129, then they came back with a 140 offer, and it does now look like Prom Invest coming out with another offer. It is highly conditional at $1.42. So expect Northern Iron Shares to be well supported. If we have a look at Adita Berla. Well, we know that this company is probably interested in Northern Ireland because uh, Northern Iron because Adita Berla actually signed a contract with uh, Tata Steel uh, to supply its steel mills in uh, Europe uh, not too long ago. So they're probably looking at this takeover in order to supply those European steel mills. If we have a look at Prom Invest. This is a Swiss-based uh, metals trader and they've had a relationship now for a number of years with Northern Iron. Uh, Iron. So great news for Northern Iron shares. If we have a look at the 30-day price action in this stock, it's quite impressive but you can see it's really this takeover action that's helped to support its shares.